Well, welcome to Weekly Wisdom. Uh, this week, we're thinking about one simple thought, and it's this. It's all about your heart. Our heart matters more than we realize. Listen to this one simple verse that comes on pretty strong from Proverbs 15, verse 8. And here's what it says. The Lord detests the sacrifice of the wicked, but the prayer of the upright pleases him. Now, here's what's interesting. Both of the people in being contrasted in this, in this brief passage are doing worship stuff. One's bringing sacrifices, one's praying. So isn't it good to do religious stuff? Isn't it good to do worship type stuff? I mean, doesn't God like that? Well, apparently, listen to it again, the Lord detests the sacrifice of the wicked, but the prayer of the upright pleases him. One of them, their heart is wicked, one their heart is upright. So when one brings a sacrifice, it's almost like it's a game. It's a religious game. I'm doing the religious thing. I'm bringing my sacrifice. God, don't you love that kind of stuff? And it says the Lord detests it. Why? Because the heart's wrong. When the heart's wrong, our gifts and offerings are right. When the heart's right, our prayers are right. But if the heart's wrong, even our sacrifices, even our prayers can go wrong. So here's a couple simple thoughts. One is this. You can do the right things with the wrong heart. And it stinks. You can, I'm doing the right thing. I'm, I'm going to church. I'm, I'm giving an offering. I'm being religious. But if it's not with the right heart, it doesn't bring joy to the heart of God. And you could lift up a simple prayer. And God rejoices in it. That's the second idea. You can do the right things, even less dramatically, with the right heart, and this pleases God. God delights in our prayers, in our communication with Him, if it comes from a pure heart. It's not about religion. It's about relationship. It's not about doing the right things. It's about having the right heart, and the right things grow out of that. And so here's what I want to ask you to do today. I'm going to ask you to do a heart check. What motivates you? What drives you? And particularly when it comes to things of faith. When you give a sacrifice, when you give an offering, when you lift up a prayer, when you go to church, when you humbly serve other people, are you doing it with the right heart? Because here's the truth, God knows your heart. He wants us doing the right things with the right heart and that will bring Him glory. So hear this passage one more time. The Lord detests the sacrifice of the wicked, but the prayer of the upright pleases Him. God, may we live with upright hearts. May, may our hearts not be filled with sin and rebellion and wickedness, but we still do our religious duties and think that that really brings you pleasure. But let us do the right things for the right reason, the right way, and bring joy to your heart. Spirit of God, search our hearts, that our hearts might be right before you so that our acts of worship will be pleasing in your sight. We pray this in your name, Jesus. Amen.